The microbiome is basically a compendium of microbial community structures that inhabit an, an ecosystem. They're all over the globe. Uh, many exist in soil, marine habitats, lake habitats. We and our bodies have about 10 to the 14th microorganisms, which is 10 times our human cells. And not only that, but the genetic capacity exceeds our own human genetic capacity by 350 fold. So there is tremendous um, interest in this because there, we are becoming to understand that when you start to perturb the, the ecosystem in the human body, you start to perpetuate and bring on some disease onsets. And so there's many examples um, in which they have shown some sort of, uh, in obesity, for example, uh, Clostridium difficile infections, diabetes, for example, some autoimmune diseases, cancer is in the forefront. And so we are at a point now where we understand that these mechanisms of dysbiosis happen, but now we have to be smarter than, than our current state of the art and try to figure out what these communities are, are doing. Um, and the way that we only are able to understand that is through computation, biotechnology, uh, techniques because, as I said, with these 10 to the 14 bacteria that are inhabiting our bodies, many of which are unculturable. Many of these uh, uh, bacterium, if we are in homeostatic nature, help us. They help us drive our immune system development. They help us with our own host physiology. Uh, and they produce a couple vitamins for us that we don't normally would get otherwise, vitamin B12, for exa example, and, and, and vitamin K. So these communities impart some very important functions that get out of whack when you have diseases. What we hope to do is to create a nucleus um, and synergize not only the basic research side, but the, the clinical side, and really create a, a hub of interaction, which would help us here at this campus and across the state and perhaps across the world to understand how these diseases um, are, are driven and then what we can do to prevent them.